hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we have an unboxing. Now, at the time that I'm recording this, I have no clue where this came from. Um, so we're gonna open it up and find out together. So I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. So let's see what we got here. It's in a box, obviously. I don't remember ordering, there's my scissors. I don't remember ordering anything, but that's not, that, that, that means nothing. <laughs> At this point, if you haven't realized that Miss Coffee's memory is garbage, uh, yeah, you haven't been here long. So, since I don't remember ordering anything, I'm wondering if it's a subscriber gift or something. I don't know, but we're going to unbox it to see what it is. So, it's in a, it's kind of looks like a hua can box. And it says diamond painting and it has it in uh, Russian. It's a little banged up. It's been sitting here for a couple of days. Um, mostly because I just haven't had time to unbox it. So, yeah. Maybe we can get into the box. Maybe we'll get into the box. There we go. All right. So let's see what we got here. So we have a tool kit and a boat. We have a canvas. I think I do remember ordering this. And we have drills. All right, so, so far, first things first, brownie point, they get a brownie point because of the drills being in the baggies, because you guys know Miss Coffee loves her baggies. Uh, another thing, I love the fact that the pen, uh, it has a three placer and it looks like a seven placer. You get the good pair of tweezers, that wax though, eh, I wouldn't use the wax. And then you get a white boat with no funnel, so y'all yeah, don't care about that. So let's figure out where this came from. All right, so this kit comes to us from Diamond Painting Pro. Uh, they have a website that I was looking at. Um, again, it's one of those websites you're gonna wanna watch to make sure you don't get a licensed piece. Um, so I was a little careful when I ordered this. It is a 50 by 40, it is a round. And it's called Swan. So it looks like it is a uh, double-sided adhesive and it has the clear plastic on it to protect it from the elements, which is good. I can see it's broken up into a couple of pieces of, uh, of the cover, which is also good. Um, so let's get into this. Now it is taped, so we're gonna get this tape off real quick. That tape usually don't stick to it. It's kind of like washi tape that they put on them because they don't. It doesn't stick well. Like it comes off really easily. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, pull off the scissors again, just because I don't want to damage the canvas by trying to rip the tape off. There we go. So we're gonna get that tape off there. We're gonna push out. It does have a foam core, so they get a little brownie point for that problem is though when they put them on the foam cores that's when you have to watch because they tend to put it on there a little tight so you kind of have to let it like slowly unravel so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna bring it on the other side of my table over here and I'm just gonna bring it along with the table oh it didn't catch on like it usually does all right so it's not a massively big painting like I need any massively big paintings but I thought it was a really pretty image and I wanted to see what the quality was like. It kind of reminds me of Huacan. I know people are fearful of Huacan. I am one of those people that is fearful of Huacan. I usually tell you guys I Huacan't. Um, but let's see here. So it still looks pretty good. Now this, I think what makes the bubbles and stuff in canvases is the fact that that, that opaque cover is so heavy and then when you try to pull it back, it just, it doesn't work well. So. We're gonna pull this back here. It does have training wheels or dummy circles. I will explain what that is. The thing is in four pieces. This actually looks like a pretty good kit. S smell, I can smell the glue. And that might not be a ple pleasant smell to some people, but I really like the smell of the glue. Does that make me weird? Asking for myself. So let's pull this back here. The drill field looks nice and clear. This looks like a nice little easy project. Um, so let's take a look at the drill field. 
So we have some symbols, we have numbers. The lighter symbols are what I'm worried about. Like uh, this looks like a Q. It does have the legend on one side. It didn't come with an inventory sheet. Um, so I'm looking to see if I have a Q on here. Looks like you do number 45. So it has 45 colors. Again, it reminds me of something that you would get off AliExpress. Um, this kit only cost me, what? Oh, okay. So for this kit, it cost me $41.99. Now, before you guys go, oh my God, that's not too bad. But usually I don't pay that price unless it's like a poor glue kit, mostly because of the fact that it does run the risk of getting ruined because of the humidity or because of like, you know, heat or extreme heat or extreme cold or temperature changes. It will cause bubbling. But I have to say, this is probably one of the best um, double-sided adhesive canvases I have received and gotten. I actually, you can see the image, like, let's see if I can get you guys up here. You can see the two swans. You can see the lily pad with the lotus flowers on it down here. Um, this is actually really, really nice. I really like this. It has like cherry blossoms on the side up here. So we're just flattening these out. So we're gonna lay this cover back down one by one. And I think I will leave this cover on here to see how it fares. But it is a really nice little kit. I like that. The One of the things I like most is that a lot of the times when you get kits like this that are double-sided adhesive, the glue will have lines in it from uh, the, the paper that they put on it. There's no lines. So we're going to place that paper back down and we're going to flip it the other way. This is how you flatten your kits as well. And then what you can do is take a, a trouser hanger or a pant hanger that you would get from like Walmart or something. Um, you can take one of those and hang it up in your closet, which is what I usually do with my double-sided adhesive kits. Yes, I still have double-sided adhesive kits. I need to work on another one of them because it's been a long time since I've worked on one. So the glue does come out a little far on the side, but that's fine. Again, you can take your X-Acto knife and cut that off. The kit, like I said, the kit is a little expensive, but it was free shipping, so I'll give them that. Again, it's Diamond Painting Pro. I had, I think I've seen it in my group. Somebody had asked about it, and I went over and checked them out, and I really like this image, so I went ahead and paid the money for it, but that's what I'm here for. I'm here to pay the money so you don't have to, so I can show you what the quality is like, but they do get brownie points because it's already in the bag. Y'all, this is actually a pretty, a really pretty kit. I really like this. Ah, I said I was going to show you guys what dummy circles are, so let's get back down into the business. So, do you see, do you see the circle around the symbols? Those are called training wheels, aka dummy circles. So what that is, is it's a guide. It shows you where to place your drills perfectly so that you don't see the black underneath. Now, usually I wouldn't get an image with a light color when I'm doing, a, especially if I, and you don't, there's no way of knowing whether or not they have dummy circles or uh, training wheels on the kits. There's no way of knowing if it's poured glue or mounted glue or double-sided adhesive unless you contact the seller and ask them. Um, it is super tacky. Ow, it is super tacky. It's super tacky. But what, what the training wheels do, let's see, let's find a color. Uh, let's go with this triangle. What is this triangle? It's number 31. And again, the bags are numbered. So I like that. I like the fact that it's in bags. I don't have to kit it up. That's always a plus because then when I'm done, I can just throw these baggies into my box of spare drills and I'm going about my business. So let's let's drill a little bit, shall we? 23. I look for bag 31. Twenty. Five, bag, four. Okay. We're just going to dump these out. We're going to dump all of them out. So I can show you guys how we do this. So hold on a second. All right, bag 31. And so then we're going to need a drill tray, which we're going to use our Pam Wilson tray, which I will link down below now that I have found her Etsy shop. Let me get some of the stuff out of it because I did put stuff in it. And I'm, I'm using her tray because I'm actually going to hold it for the video. So we're going to pour out a couple of drills. Let's see how nice it is to work on this kit. I, like I said, it's been a I miss double-sided adhesive canvases for as, fat, as sad as that is to say. Um, when you work with one thing, 
a lot, you know, you, you tend to miss the things that you used to do. So I miss working on double seated adhesive canvases. Let's get one of our, our drill pins and we're going to hold it. Now the triangle is this color here, which is like, it looks like a lavender or pastel pink. So the training wheel, when you put the drill down correctly, you shouldn't see the black line. Now, if, you, if you're if you a single placer and you put drills down one by one, this is no problem. If you're a multi-placer, you're going to have to fidget with them a little bit to get so it's not showing. But, uh, yeah, so you just want to make sure that you're covering that dark circle or you're going to you will see the lines from it uh underneath your drills whenever you're uh oh, get over there whenever you're diamond painting so honestly this isn't a bad kit no bubbles no rivers came in perfect condition i ordered this july 28th and it is now september 5th it got here uh say so today's the fifth it got here september 1st so wait time, not too horrible. Um, I've had worse, believe me. So yeah, would Miss Coffee ask you guys to go get a kit from the store? If you're someone who enjoys diamond painting, why not? Why not have a variety of stores to choose from? Again, uh, you're gonna wanna check, as a matter of fact, let me check to make sure, because one of the websites I ordered from had some really nice kits, and you're all cattywampus, had some really nice kits and I, and I, of course, we'll have the information pop up on the screen. Um, they had nice kits, and I didn't see any, like, stolen images that I was aware of. So, uh, they, they have, like, you know, your normal collection. They don't have anything crazy or, you know, outlandish or whatever. But uh, all kits, all sizes, 50% off, store, free store-wide shipping. Okay, that could probably be why. They do do customs. Yeah, I'm not seeing any stolen images just from what I can see. But that doesn't mean that they're not there. So you're going to want to be careful, of course, when you're buying the images to check to make sure. Ooh, they have Scream. I didn't see that one on there last time I was on there. Sorry, I'm scrolling through the website right now. So yeah, like they don't, I don't see, like there, there's nothing popping out at me that Scream's stolen. Um, but again, I do have a video on how to check if it's stolen. Even if you want to do a quick Google search, if you just uh, right click on the image and uh, hit Google search. It'll also tell you if you uh, have found a stolen image. It'll tell you the artist or where the picture originated from. So yeah, that's another way you can figure out if it's a stolen image. Y'all, this is actually pretty fun. I'm really enjoying this. So yeah, drill quality, I can say is, it seems pretty good. I, you know, I only, of course, poured out this little bit of drills. And for those wondering, if you missed my live um, and you haven't seen my post on it, this is one of the uh, non-rolling pins that needs more wax in it, apparently. So yeah, um, drill quality does look really good. Of course, it has some stragglers in there. Um, let's see here. There we go. So yeah, like this is an this could be a nice, quick, easy project. It's a really pretty image. I really like the swans. Uh, we're gonna look at some more drills here in a few seconds. Let me just put a couple more drills down, okay? Um, so I'm always really careful when I get images, just because, now, especially because when you do YouTube, you can you have the chance of getting copyright striked. And I don't want to get copyright striked, so like I try to be careful when buying images, and I don't want to take you know away from artists or whatever. So, um, yeah, this was just one of those images that stood out to me, and I've been on a swan kick lately. Has anybody noticed that? Like I've bought a lot of pictures with swans in it. All of a sudden, I just bought an image from Mary's Diamonds with swan a swan girl in it. So like, look out for that unboxing. Um, I don't know how this went from an unboxing to now apparently it's a whip and chat of some sort. But so far the drill quality looks really good. And I'm going to place a couple more drills down here to show you uh, what the quality is like whenever you are drilling on uh, a canvas with training wheels. And again, this canvas presented with no 
like marks on it. There's no bubbles, no rivers, no nothing. Like it's a really, really nice kit. Um, I have to say, this is, I spend so long since I've double, double sided adhesive kit, y'all. I, I don't hate double sided adhesive. I hate that sometimes it has a lot of issues, but you know, everybody has their preferences. Now, do I prefer poured glue over double-sided? Of course, because I can put it away for a long period of time and not have to worry about it. But will I still work on double-sided adhesive kits? Of course I will, why not? Gotta have a little bit of something for everybody, right? Right, so, because I know that's a big debate, and you know, you got your double-sided and your poured glue and your mounted glue and which is best and all this. And like, if you're investing in this craft and you want to make those beautiful images, like, imagine having some, like, I still have Miss, Miss T-Maw's uh, rhinestones and stuff, so I can easily enhance this kit. And I promise you, I'm going to stop drilling on this kit in a few minutes. Um, I just want to put down enough where you can tell if you can see the training wheels underneath. I want to see if it's, uh, the drills are small or big enough to cover the training wheels, because that's one of my biggest complaints I have with a lot of stores that use them, is that the the drills aren't big enough to cover them so that when you do do a section of a kit, you end up having a bunch of freaking lines going all throughout your kit. And I don't know if you can see it from up there. You can't. Um, but I don't want, I don't, I don't like when the you can see the lines through. That's my one big hang up with uh, training wheels. If you get an image with dark colors, I don't mind training wheels. But light colors like this. Yeah, that's when I mine the training wheels because you can see the dark circle underneath it and that's something I try to avoid. All right, so I'm gonna do that section. I promised you guys I would stop. <laughs> Y'all, this is a lot of fun. I might have to work on this one. I might have to continue working on this because this was this is really fun. Um, so the drill quality that so far that I can see and of course the easy pour back into the bag. I just ordered another thing from her too. So the drill quality from what I can see is actually really good. We're gonna put this plastic back down. Get that off there. So has anybody ever tried this company? What is your experience? Did you have good experience, bad experience? Now this kit I believe only came in round. Um, I don't believe it came in square. Again, it has 45 colors, so 20s, 20s, 40s. So there you have it. You have the entire uh, color thing there. So lots of blues and purples and pinks. I love the colors in this kit. I might start working on this one, to be honest. I need to work on a double-sided kit. You guys need to see me work on more than poured glue. So I might start this one instead of the one I was going to start, which is what happens every time I say I'm going to start a kit. Um, but. I really, really like this image. Again, it's 40 by 50, so let's check to see if it measures to size. So is it a true 40 by 50? And of course, we're gonna measure from uh, drill filled to drill filled because we're drilling on it, and that's the part we want to be full size. Which, it, From the looks of it, it looks like it's the correct size. So just eyeballing it, because I've been doing this for so long. So we're gonna hit right at the glue, right on the money for 45. And then going up and down, right on the money for 40. So it definitely is true to size. Again, it was $41.99 for this kit. It's a 50 by 40. All the drills seem to be there. Uh, the symbols, there are a couple of symbols that are alike, um, like the Q and the symbol with the, the zero with the line through it. Um, but those are even different colors. One is a periwinkle blue I want to say and the other one's like a purple um but the the drill fill looks nice and clear we're gonna pull back that section that we were working on because I didn't I don't think I showed you uh about the training wheels so what happens is as you can see those ones fit on there really good 
and you see how you see a little black line right there and right there so if you don't make those perfect you will see those black lines so for me it just causes more time where i'm fidgeting with the drills trying to make them straight um but that's just me i'm i'm real picky i'm not super picky but I'm, I'm picky enough where i i don't like seeing those black lines but if you fix them up on there like they're supposed to you're not supposed to see the black lines so that's what the training wheels are and what they're for and how you know you can hide them in your kit but this the drill field looks nice and clear you can see all the symbols the j the question or question mark the check symbol, you got triangle, a question mark, a Y, a J, omega symbol, T, a question mark is there, percent sign. So you have an onslaught of different symbols you can use. There's an X, there's a bunny ears with the two lines through it. Uh, you have a revert or U-turn symbol. So the, the drill field is clear. It does have training wheels, which, you know, it's not a fan favorite for me, but I do like that. Um, it came in a decent amount of time it wasn't too much of long of wait um i think i will start working on this one just because it's already in baggies and it's really easy and it was a really a lot of fun to work on and i i really want to see what this image looks like so what do you guys think do you think you would try out diamond painting pro have you tried out diamond painting pro if you have leave your experience down in the comment section below if you haven't and you want to try them out i will link them down in the description or the comment or yeah i will link them in the description box for you to go check them out now again when I link stuff in the description box, I don't t send a link to the exact thing that I'm working on. I put a link in the description box for you to go check out to see what they have, to see if there's something that's more your style. Um, so have at it. But with that said, folks, I must really bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to. To be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.